The next three instructions in this group of comparison instructions, equal to, <coughs> not equal to, and the mask equal to. Very simple instructions, at least the first two are. The mask equal, once you come to understand the behavior of a mask within an instruction between a source and a destination, it too is also very simple. Now the equal instruction, it's either equal to a value or it's not equal to the value. If it's equal, it's true. If it's not equal, it's false. The not equal instruction is, again, very simple. Either the A is equal, not equal to B, or it's equal to B. Now, they're not really exact opposite instructions because if you have A equal to 5, and if the value is 5, well, it's true. And there's only one value where it can be true. So the equal instruction is only true if A is equal to B. However, the not equal, there are many values not equal to B. So they're, they're not, you can't negate one instruction to get the same results. Click in the orange box when you're ready to fly. This little piece of the lab is so simple that um, you're probably wondering why I put it in there, but it does firmly cement into your thinking the difference between the equal and the not equal. Again, we have a timer that's accumulating 0 through 7. We have two rungs, so we can compare the behavior of the equal with the not equal. When the accumulate is 0, the output 0 is off and output 1 is on because the accumulate is 0 and 0 is not equal to 4. And the same thing for a value of 1, for a value of 2, for a value of 3. Now, both instructions, the accumulate is equal to 4 or it's not equal to 4. Well, um, not equal is true because it's not been equal to 4. The equal has been false because it's not equal to 4. However, when we hit 4 for accumulate value, we switch places here because when the accumulate is 4, rung 1 is true and rung 2 is false. And then we, then we go back to the former state for the rest of the values. In this section of the lab, we're going to work with the mask equal. In this case, we use the same instruction twice. In rung 1, the mask equal is controlling output 0, and in rung 2, the mask equal is controlling output 1. In both, cases, the source is T40 accumulate register, and we're comparing it to N7 colon 5. So on the face of it, it looks like they both have the same function, the same purpose. However, we want to demonstrate the effect or the effect of the mask upon the results. The mask for rung 1, mask equal instruction, is 4. And if you picture binary 4, I know it says H for hexadecimal, and each of those four characters, 0, 0, 0, 4, each one represents four bits of a 16-bit register. So 4 represents the first four bits. So if you convert that to binary, uh, if you're going from the least significant, which would be from right to left, it's 0, 0, 1, 0, which means that this instruction will be true if the 4-bit of the accumulate is equal to the 4-bit of N75. Remember, the 4-bit would be the third bit in. So there's uh, units, or we'll say 1, 2, 4, 8 is the 4 bits, 1, 2, 4, 8. So the third bit from the right is the 4-bit. So if they are equal, just that one bit, then this instruction will be true. It doesn't make any difference what any of the rest of the bits are. 
because the mask determines which bits you're comparing. If we drop down to rung 2, the mask is 7 in hex, 7 converted to binary for 4 bits. The first 4 bits starting from the right would be 1110. So it's comparing the first 3 bits of the timer accumulate to N75. Now, so we'll go ahead and exercise the lab and when T4 0 accumulate is equal to 0, output 0 is off and so is output 1. When the accumulate is 1, output 0 is off, output 1 is off. When the accumulate increments to 2, output 0 is off and so is output 1. When the accumulate is equal to 3, output 0 is off, output 1 is off. When the accumulate is equal to 4, output 0 is on and output 1 is on. When you accumulate to 5, then output 0 is still on, but output 1 has gone off. When we accumulate, now remember, we're only comparing one bit here for the first output 0. The output 0 is only comparing the 4 bits. So think about the binary pattern 0, no bits. 1, the first bit. 2, the second bit. 3, the first and the second bit. Again, we're only comparing the third bit. So when we accumulate to 4, then the third bit is now on and the first two bits are off. But it's only that bit that we're comparing. When we increment to 5, then you've got 1, 0, 1. But still, the 4 bit is on. When we accumulate to 6, the 4 bit is on. When we accumulate to 7, the 4 bit is on. But in the case of output 1, we're comparing the first three bits. And the only time that they're going to be equal, the first three bits, is when the accumulate is 4 and equal to N75. At least between 0 and 7. If we went a little higher in the accumulate, we might see another instance. But just for this illustration. Now, in my example here, for the next question, I did not pick either of the parameters in rung 1 or rung 2. I picked a different one. The accumulate is equal to 7. The mask is equal to 5. And N75 is equal to 6. In the above illustration, our T4 colon 0 dot ACC, the accumulate register, and N75 integer, are they equal? No. The Even if they were equal, would the instruction be true if this were the mask? Let's consider that. If N75 was 7, then the instruction would be true even though you're blocking the 2-bit. So if you look at the accumulate, 7 is 1, 1, 1. But the mask is only comparing the first bit and the third bit, or you could say the 1 bit and the 4 bit, which is equal to 5. So if in N75, in any instance where the first bit is equal to 1 and the third bit is equal to 1, then this instruction is going to be true. If this were the mask, 5, and the accumulate value was 7. So see, as you continue to increment up with the accumulate, there will be other instances where this instruction will be true. Any time that the first and third bit are equal to the first and third bit in N75, then the instruction is going to be true. Now, in this example right here, um, it's not true, okay? Simply because bit 1, the first bit, of the accumulate is 1 and the first bit of N75 is 0. And they are being compared. If you look, you see the mask is open.
This was not part of the lab. However, in retrospect, this may have made the lab a little easier. So if you want to go back and use this logic and redo the lab, you're more than welcome to. With a TON instruction, on delay timer, it has a true and a false execution. So anytime you turned off input zero, it reset. I had made the time base one second, so you had time to look at the results as it incremented zero through seven. However, one second might not have been long enough for you to adequately look back and forth between your chart and the logic. So if you wanted to convert the TON instruction to an RTO retentative timer on delay, then when you turn input zero off, it is not reset because it has no false execution. A TON, when the run goes false, resets everything. An RTO, when the run goes false, it just stops and becomes silent. It no longer does anything. It stops accumulating. If you're going to use an RTO, then you need to add a reset instruction, which you see the last rung using input one will reset T4 colon zero timer data type back to zero and you can start over. So this, this might have been a better way to go to make it easier for you to follow what was going on between these two. Remember, with the mask equal, the mask determines which bits you're comparing. So if the mask were zero, then you're not comparing anything. So you need something open in the mask. You, if you have all 16 bits set to one, then you're comparing all 16 and it'll always be true. Well, I, I take that back, I'm sorry. If, if you made the mask um, F, 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 that's all 16 bits one in a hexadecimal, then the only time this would be true was when the accumulate equaled four, which is not the case with a mask that is four or seven. Because remember I explained with four you're comparing one bit. So every time your binary value has the four bit or the third bit from the right as a one, then this instruction is going to be true. That's going to happen many times as the timer increments up through the count. To do that you'd have to set the preset up to something much higher, even as high as 32,767, and then sit there and watch as the bit patterns change and you see the instruction going true and false, but going true anytime that one bit is one.